My name is uh, Guru Rao. I am the Chief Data and Analytics Officer at FB Alliance Insurance. We're a new insurance company that uh, was formed by nine other insurance companies that are part of the Farm Bureau system. I'm actually a, a civil engineer. I um, went to University of Illinois, got a master's and a doctoral degree there, um, and then went to Northwestern and got a master's in engineering management. I um, never thought I would um, um, enter the insurance industry. I uh, wanted to get into academics, but I um, got a job with uh, Aon as a uh, research engineer uh, to develop catastrophe models. I got um, really interested in that role, and then eventually I moved into the business and analytics side of things, and uh, I've uh, since then you know, uh, worked for AIG, and uh, now I work for FB Alliance, uh, heading up uh, data and analytics. The goal of uh, data and analytics uh, is to really help our uh, employees make um, decisions, their day-to-day -day decisions uh, using data and, and, and information from our business operations, uh, which is um, sometimes very difficult for companies that have been operating for a long period of time or have a very large global operation. Uh, us being new um, uh, in, the, in the industry, uh, we decided that we will start off on the right footing and make sure that every employee in the company gets access to information and insights every day, close of business, so they can make fact-based decisions. And in 2017, we accomplished that by generating business intelligence and detailed information that is at the fingertips of our employees so they make decisions not based on some guesswork, but you know, based on uh, information that's uh, very factual. Our uh, policy systems and claim systems are actually uh, at a third party um, location. Uh, we, um, we license that system uh, from, from a third party vendor. And so that information has, uh, or that uh, database has uh, information about um, the quotes that we write on a regular basis, the policies that we issue on a regular basis, the, the claims that are reported, and additional information on billing and so forth. Um, in order to make decisions on where we are succeeding in distributing our product uh, efficiently, where we are um, capturing the market, um, where we are not, uh, which agent is performing well or not, we need very detailed information. And that information resides in these third-party systems that we license. So we have built a pipeline to pull all that information from the third-party systems and bring it into our data warehouse, which also sits in another cloud, and then it serves a business intelligence system, which is in front of everybody's desktop. Production data that we um, synthesize and, and, and deliver to um, our employees do not require a whole lot of um, inputs from the employees, other than opening the report and maybe selecting the type of information they want. Um, so that makes it a lot easier for, for, for them to use that system. Uh, what's, what's challenging for us is to make sure that these systems are very user friendly. Um, um, our employees um, are all very um, insurance savvy, but not all of them are technically savvy. So um, we built uh, systems and reports that are very user-friendly, simple, and easy to use so that uh, anyone, uh, even with the minimum amount of technical skill, computer skills, can actually you know, self-service those, those reports and be able to get the information they need. We measure the return on investment uh, in terms of uh, how the system, how often the system is, is being used for decision making. Um, is, is, is the company um, always running to the system um, to access data before they make critical decisions? For example, um, if we want to know uh, who are our top producing agents and, 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 and why they are our top producing agents, 
and who are uh, not producing as well. If, if they are using the system that we have built to get, answer those questions, then we believe that this system is, is, is truly successful. We don't have specific ROI measures that we have put in place to quantify that, but we uh, believe it is successful when employees are using it every day to make decisions. Uh, our CEO, uh, to whom I report to, is fully supportive of uh, the um, analytics uh, initiatives and, and the systems we're building. Um, and uh, he believes that you know, um, data and, and, and database decisions uh, have to be in the DNA of our company. We have reached a what I uh, call as the, the first stage of the mass loss hierarchy of needs. Um, we have uh, built the data pipeline, we have, we have built the delivery of, of, of information into our employees' hands. The next step is to take that and build deeper analytics uh, to, um, for example, uh, look at um, um, what sort of uh, customers like our products. Um, how, how can we um, you know, segment that information and, and maybe market more efficiently to that segment that, that um, um, likes our products? Or uh, how agents are, are successful in distributing our products and what can we do to uh, enhance uh, the, the success measures? So we wanna go deeper into uh, the, the customer information, uh, we want to go deeper into sales information so that we can um, uh, help improve our top line as well as um, you know, um, engage with our customers even more. We definitely have learned lessons along the way as, as we um, developed our uh, data and analytics solutions. Um, the, um, the fact that we had to simplify <coughs> the uh, the reports and the information and the insights that we deliver to um, uh, our employees um, came out of out of um, um, the um, some of the some of the failures in in the sense that uh, our um, um, our initial efforts uh, probably was was uh, a little too esoteric, uh, but but as we uh, piloted uh, some of the solutions, uh, we uh, it became. Uh, quickly clear to us that we had to simplify things for our employee base. Uh, that was one of the big lessons that, that we learned. Um, the other lesson that we learned was that um, um, we engage with a lot of different vendors uh, and, and while we um, <clears throat> in, engage with them initially uh, at the time of selection, uh, we need to talk more about uh, how hungry we are for data and information so that you know um, we we get that 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 data from day one of of, of uh, operation uh, or else it can take a lot of time on on their part to deliver the information that we need so those are some of the lessons that we have learned we would rather not uh, like to have failures but um, when we when we do have failures when we do um, take some um, um, you know missteps we um, uh, learn from it. Um, uh, it, it it's, it's, it's important in the, in the sense that when we uh, falter, um, we don't try to cover it up. We acknowledge that, that, that we um, either didn't think through the problem carefully before uh, arriving at a solution, or um, we did not have enough <clears throat> discussion around um, a, 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 a solution. Um, and so um, we, we take those failures as um, you know, a way to uh, avoid them in, in, in the future um, and, and, and come up with better solutions. What I do on a daily basis is extremely interesting for me because um, in our company, Data and analytics is just as much part of the operation as sales is, as marketing is, as finance is. So um, that uh, knowledge that you are not a back office person, you are not uh, someone who's uh, you know um, developing solutions that just uh, gather the dust on a shelf, you know, really makes your, your, your job, you know, so much exciting and interesting. And, and that's what wakes me up in the morning and makes me 
go with, with interesting ideas and, and a lot of energy. Thank you.